Hello again. One of the things which was very noticeable about those sent to prison in the wake of the recent rioting was the age of some of those people. For instance, in Liverpool, a man called William Morgan was sent to prison for two years and eight months after being convicted of violent disorder. He is 69. You can see him in the um, thumbnail to this video. Another fellow, Derek Drummond, was sent down for three years that same day. He's 58. There is something distinctly rummy about this. I will not deny that I have myself been in riots, but the last occasion was in 1978, and that wasn't even in this country. I can't imagine going onto the streets these days and hurling a Molotov cocktail at an armoured car or something. <laughs> the rioting which we have seen lately has been driven by the fury of older white people, which is interesting. It's true that old people have always been dissatisfied with the modern world, but these feelings have usually been sublimated by writing angry letters to the newspapers rather than chucking half bricks at the police. What's going on to provoke such scenes? We have in the past seen uh, similar discontent among all ages in this country, and it usually coincides with periods of great social change. One thinks of the Industrial Revolution and the machine breaking, the plug riots, attacks on factories and so on. There is no denying that Britain has changed out of all recognition over the last 50 years or so, and these, the change is currently accelerating. But I think there's a danger of muddling up cause and effect, so that we blame this or that group, uh, or event, or, or what have you, for what has happened. Whereas in really, the People belonging to certain groups are usually a symptom, not the cause. Take, for instance, the dramatic drop in the number of public houses in this country. This is definitely a thing, and I've seen people blame Islam for this development. The reasoning goes as follows. Muslims don't drink alcohol, so when there's a lot of Muslims, then the pubs won't get as much trade and they'll have to close down. This would be convincing if the only pubs closing were in places like the London Borough of Tower Hamlets, say, or uh, Muslim parts of Manchester, Muslim towns in the north of England. But it's not. It's a nationwide phenomenon. It's everywhere. It's from villages in Cornwall to uh, the suburbs, areas where there are no Muslims at all. Sad fact is that the pub is probably over. Fifty years ago, meeting in the pub in the evening was often the default setting for young people, and young people used to go to the pub and they'd get drunk and spend a huge amount of money there. Now that doesn't happen. Many of them avoid drinking entirely, and those that do drink tend to drink moderately, so the pubs are going bust. Muslims have nothing to do with the case. In the same way, older people have seen factories closing down, high roads becoming derelict, and at the same time they notice that most delivery drivers and those driving cabs are black and Asian. They link those things together and assume that it is immigrants who have caused the collapse of the way of life they remember. In fact, well, 200 years ago, there was no such thing as the high street. It wasn't a thing in 1824. It was definitely a thing in 1924, though, and in 1954 and 1964 it was a foundation of a way of life for people living in this country. Now, in 2024, it's on the way out, and I'm guessing that by 2074 the high road will have disappeared entirely as we buy everything online. Mass immigration certainly coincided with such developments, but it didn't Rather, both are symptoms of the way that the world is changing. 
I don't like many aspects of the modern world either, and I'm not at all keen on immigration. But then old people have always felt the same way. They felt that way when I was myself young. And that dissatisfaction, that harking back to a supposed golden age, was going on 3,000 years ago when the book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible was written. We find there the prophet saying, do not ask why things were so much better in the old days. It's not an intelligent question. I think that this accounts for the number of older men seen at those riots. They don't like the modern world and have persuaded themselves that if only we could halt immigration entirely, then somehow Britain would be able to return to the way it once was. It really won't. I'm as keen to see immigration halted as anybody, but I do not deceive myself that this will somehow ward off the future and stop all those undesirable changes which are coming thick and fast. We are living through a time just like the Industrial Revolution, which means that all the old ways are being abandoned and the world is changing at breakneck speed. Stopping immigration from Africa and Asia won't stop those changes from happening, I'm afraid. <laughs>